In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do the mixtape glow effect. And I use this about 9 out of 10 times. And the reason why is not only it makes your design look better, it's easy to do. And it's kind of, to me, it's kind of like the uh, duct tape of everything. You know, like duct tape, it fixes everything. So to me, this effect, this technique kind of fix everything. Just make everything look better. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I got the uh, glow effect glow uh stock image that i want to use and i use this all the time so here's the uh, stock image so i got this off uh, shutterstock.com a lot of people ask me where i get my stock image um that's where i get it from shutterstock.com and if you watch any of my other tutorial you'll notice this it's kind of like a you could say kind of classic right so what you want to do is i'm gonna right click I'm going to bring this into the mixtape glow effect. That's the one that we're working on. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. So now you can see, I just move that down. Now, I just want to resize the uh, glow and move it right behind the main image. Zoom out a little bit. I'm going to hit Command T. That way we could... uh. Size it down. I'm holding Alt just to, uh, you know, bring it in the middle like that. So I want it kind of just around the image, how I have it right now. Kind of like that. All right, that looks good. I'm going to save that. So let's go ahead and start grouping stuff because I like to keep things organized. I'm going to just double click that, name that main. Command G, shortcut. I like to use shortcut. Name that main for the main image. Name that glow. Command G, group that. Double click that. Name that glow. So the glow, the main image. All right, next, we want our main image to match the the uh, color of the glow. Easiest way to do that. Let's create a adjustment layer inside the main group, but just above the uh, main image. So I'm gonna hit the uh, folder right here for new group, and I want this adjustment layer to only affect my image. So I'm gonna hold Command, select the main image. You can see you made a selection around it. And if you select the new group that we created and click on that, it'll mask it. You can see how the uh, the white part is only going to affect that. Right, so let's create a new layer within the new group. If you click on that, it should create a group or a new layer in there. I'm just going to name that adjustment. Now, over here on our color palette, we're going to select that top one. And we're going to sample a color of the glow. Maybe something light. Like kind of not too dark and not too bright. Kind of like in the middle. Kind of right here. Just click OK. And if this is not selecting it, make sure on the sample up here it says all layer. Right, so I'm going to fill this in with that. So shortcut will be... Alt delete. I'm using uh I'm I haven't I don't know what I told you I'm using the Mac, but it's alt delete to fill that in. Or you should go over here to where's the paint bucket? You could tell I mean, I I just use a lot of shortcut. There it is, paint bucket. You no, know, you could just select that, paint it, or you know, flip it white, paint it white, you know. But anyways, shortcut. Alt delete. I'm gonna save that. And I'm gonna change this blending mode to color burn. Maybe not. Multiply. You can tell, even though I've been using Photoshop for I don't know how many years, but yeah, all the blending mode, I still mix them up, but it's cool though. Alright, so multiply. Capacity, bring it down, just bring it up. Maybe about 
Let's do 70. Oh no, it's like even number with a zero at the end. So before, after. All right, that looks cool. Now, probably want to add some shadow down here. So I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to use a gradient tool. But I want this black and that black. So I'm going to hit D to default. And I'm going to hit X. You know. Oh, well, you don't even got to do that. You select that. Go ahead and select the black. Now you go to the gradient tool. Shortcut will be G. And up here, make sure you change that to this one where it has a color with the transparent thing back there. Just click OK. Make sure don't have that one selected. Make sure that one's selected. Click OK. I'm hold shift. Start from the bottom. Go straight up. You can see. Add it right there. I'm going to change the blending mode to soft light. I like the soft light on a lot of stuff. Soft light looks good on a lot of stuff. I use that a lot. But anyways, let's go ahead and let's see. Go down here to the main. Hit Command J to make a copy. So this one we're going to do with the inner glow. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to hit Command G to group that. I'm going to name that Inner Glow. And I'm going to double click on that. And you know what we're going to do? The Inner Glow. Now, we want to change this color to, remember, not too dark, not too light. But kind of in the middle. You see how it's uh, look like the glow is coming in to the main image right there. Let's zoom in. Check it out. See right there. But we're going to change the size of it. Make it a little bit more stronger. Just coming in like that. So there's a couple of blending mode that I like to use. Hard light is one of it. Sometimes depending on, depending on the design, just how it looks overall. Maybe screen. Let's zoom out. Yeah, screen's not too bad. Hard light, since this is kind of like a darker theme, let's keep it on hard light. I'm going to click OK. All right, I'm going to save that, Command S. So I like how it looks on the pants and stuff, but see, so you have the glow on the left, but there's no glow on the right. You know, we can just fix that real quick. Just go to the glow. Just hit Command J. Make a copy. Change the blending mode to screen. And then I'm hit V for the selection tool. Let me just bring this down. Maybe about right there. But I don't like that. But I like how it's soft right here. So to fix that, just go to filter, blur. Gaussian blur. There you go. Looks better. Click OK. All right, just move it back a little bit. Dang, you got my head all looking kind of weird with that glow, but we'll fix that. Look like I bleached my hair or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so go to the inner glow right here. So we're gonna hit the mask, right? So I'm uh mask that out because I don't like that. So make sure this is black. So I'm gonna hit B for brush or shortcut. And the brush will be selected. Hardness all the way down. Size up. Maybe about 492 depending on the size of your you know uh design the brush might be smaller but always hardness all the way, uh all the way down all right we'll fix that all right so here's the uh here's how to make your image look good 
see how the uh, glow in the back is right here and it makes sense for the inner glow on the main image to come in but right here there's no glow right there so we just mask that out and I just noticed too I'm not sitting on anything so probably won't look right so I could fix that but you know this is about the inner glow so don't mind that so let's check it out for after so I was looking pretty good and the other thing I like to do is the uh, I call it like the one pixel three pixel depending on how you know how big you want to make it the uh, bevel or what's that called man now yeah, I'm forgetting what it's called the rim light that's what it is rim light when you you know in photography the rim light but let's see the way to do that I'm hold command select the main image and above everything let's create a new layer and we want to fill that in with white and make sure you just like this white click OK and you want to fill that in with white shortcut will be alt delete command D to deselect command J to make a copy so you made two copy command I to invert that I like to invert this to see where the rim lights gonna be in housing look All right so I'm gonna select the uh, V for the selection tool because I want to move this down so I'm gonna nudge it down one pixel with the arrow down on your uh, keyboard so depending on how big your overall image is I'm gonna nudge it down again so here's one pixel two pixel three pixel so three looks good to me so now what you want to do is hold command select the black layer and go down to the white layer delete that so just hit delete command D to select now if you delete the black layer you can see the only thing that remain is the rim light effect thing that we created and the last thing you want to do with the rim light change the blending mode to overlay see how I just give that that effect so before after and if you want to make that softer just go to filter blur Gaussian blur of course bring it down to maybe again depending on your oversized you know design maybe one pixel well one pixel for this that looks good to me click OK and if you want to make it brighter just hit command J to make a copy and you can see it's more brighter but you know I'm just use one so I'm just delete that save that all right that looks good now just create a overall adjustment layer for everything so I'm gonna create a new folder just go ahead <clears throat> just go ahead and name that adjustment create a new layer or maybe not you know to do um where's the um levels there it is adjustment group adjustment layer levels I want to just give a little bit of contrast so I'm gonna change the midtone bring it up and then I just want to bring the black up kind of like that so contrast with the midtones right here bring the black up kind of like that so that's before after so that just adjusts the overall image so I like how it looks overall looks pretty good all right, so I'm going to show you a couple examples that I use on covers. All right, so here's a cover I did a while back. So you can see the glow behind him. And the rim light effect right there. Here's another one. glow behind my image here's another one but 
it wasn't an orange glow. You could tell it was kind of like a pink, reddish. Also, same effect. The rim light right there. Then for this one, you can see it. You can see a lot of it. The glow behind him. And the rim light. I don't think I can use it on this one. I just did the inner glow. Here's the one I did for uh, Nipsey. You can see a lot of the glow behind the uh, main images. So yeah, that's how you create the uh, mixtape glow effect. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. And if you have any question or su uh, suggestion for a tutorial, just uh, leave it in the comments.